George Soros says that the end of the EU could be upon us unless there's some form of perpetual bonds, mutualization of debt to help pay for those countries that are in more trouble than not. It's a similar idea. By the way, Merkel and Macron decided that they weren't exactly against it. Soros says consoles can help hard hit members like Italy. He comes up with a cost benefit ratio of 1 to 200. And they only need to raise taxes to maintain the triple A ratings. And Enrico Letta is the former Italian Prime Minister. He joins me now. Before we talk about Soros, how, how bruised are the feelings in Italy about the way the EC treated the country during its worst days of the, of the pandemic? Uh, you know, at the very beginning, there was the sentiment and uh, there was the rise of Euroscepticism. Because, you know, the, this crisis is the, is the third in a row in which Italy and the Italians felt to be left alone. Uh, financial crisis uh, 10 years ago, but also the refugee crisis, where really, because of geography, we were in the first row and without many helps from the European Union. So... In that case, right. the feeling to be left alone was very, very high. And uh, so this is why I think it is really necessary to have uh, a very comprehensive, fast and effective European response. OK, so a couple of uh, one trillion already has been fiddled and finagled onto the table. Now let's talk about this idea of perpetual bonds, coronavirus bonds, which until last week seemed to be a non-starter for the Germans. But now Macron and Merkel, you'll have seen last week, were talking about some form of mutualization of debt. Uh, will this be accepted? Obviously, the Italians have wanted this. Um, what more would you like? I, I think it's a very important step. It's a... Uh... A uh, show of, uh, I would say, courage from <coughs> Merkel. And I think it is also a consequence of the uh, Constitutional Court of Karlsruhe, the German Constitutional Court, that took a decision uh, around 10 years ago, 10 days ago, that was very tough against Europe. Mm -hmm. And I, thought, I think this decision was a sort of an own goal uh, for them, because at the end of the day, uh, the German government was uh, at least obliged to move and to be more right. courageous. And uh, today's decision and uh, what is happening in these very days with this recovery plan, I think it is very important. It's an important step for the future of Europe. It is the demonstration of solidarity. And it is also the way to have euro bonds without naming them euro bonds. That is the only solution at the end of okay, the day. But, but people have talked about there being an existential crisis. Is it your view that that has gone away? Or do you think that for countries like Italy and Greece, and, and in fact the whole fabric of the whole uh, the EU, that an ex existential threat still exists? I think it is an existential threat. Uh, it is like that because exactly because it is not the first crisis. It is a decade of crisis. And uh, uh, the Italian people uh, were absolutely upset because of this situation. You know, uh, last days, a, a poll uh, was showing that Italians were convinced that Russians and Chinese were helping them more than French and German. That is not true. Uh, Russian, Chinese, even the Americans are helping Italy with million euros. The rest right. of Europe is helping Italy with billion euros. It is completely different. So I think it is very important now to have a very quick and effective response. And uh, you, we build Europe through crisis. And this crisis can help Europe to be more effective and to show solidarity and also to be for the first time, to have for the first time a social Europe. And it is not by chance that this is happening three months after Brexit. Uh, because the UK was the anti-social Europe. Margaret Thatcher put the veto against Jacques Delors and the rest of the European leaders. And now, oh. for the first time, there's this response in terms of social Europe with this plan, sure, on unemployment and the ESM on uh, health care and uh, sanitary furnitures. It's, I think, a big, big step for the European Union and for the future, too.
Good to have you, sir. Very grateful. And I'd just like yourself to remember Margaret Thatcher and her half loaf and Jacques Delors. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it.